Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maria Isorda. I'm a clinical licensed esthetician and certified makeup artist for almost 15 years. Today I want to talk about what are the benefits of salt scrub and paraffin wax. One of the biggest benefits of salt scrub, particularly the sea salt scrub, is the glow that your skin is left with. There are different grades of salt and sea salt is the best option for exfoliating your skin. Exfoliating is very important. Every 28 days, a new skin cell comes out. So it's very important to exfoliate every, every, um, every couple of days, depending on the skin you have. So if you don't know the type of skin you have, I would recommend for you to go see a dermatologist or an esthetician. But you need to exfoliate from head to toe. It might seem obvious to benefit mentioned, but body scrubs are a great way to exfoliate dead skin cells. This paved the way fresh new cells to regenerate and leaves you looking feeling fabulous. If you have sensitive skin, it's the best stick with sugar or herbal scrubs. But I recommend for you to see a dermatologist or an esthetician. Otherwise, salt scrubs are great for exfoliation. To increase blood flow. By exfoliating is a very important. When you get a salt scrub or give yourself a salt scrub, you're encouraging the natural flow of circulation body fluids within. So that's really important to do. Improving cellulite and aging. So this is actually very important. And I noticed when I exfoliated or when I exfoliate, my skin looks more fresh, more tighter, more firmer. Um, it looks more healthier too. Improves, so improving the salad and aging. There are claims that certain types of improve the look of aging and dimple skin from cellulite. More like the chin area, forehead, decollete area, um, pretty much anywhere where you think that um, needs more improving and you feel like you have like flaky or dry skin. The sea salt or the empis salt or magnesium sulfate, both commonly used in beauty industries, contain mineral that can help you enhance the skin, which is kind of nice. Oh, I just got an instant message. The magnesium in the open salt can reduce inflammation, which is kind of nice, especially when you get a mania pedicure. While sulfate so flushes out toxics, this, it is also shock for mineral beneficial to the skin. When mixed with olive, almond, or rosehip oil, salt can breathe new life tired, tired skin. I actually get tired skin a lot. The abrasive action associated with salt scrub can help to improve the circulation, giving a natural glow. So that's why every time you exfoliate, you notice your skin looks more glowy, so more dewy. Scrubbing with salt also helps to remove bacteria. I don't know if you guys knew that from the skin and unclogged pores. So also it's very important to exfoliate because it actually helps you with your skin, especially uh, with bacteria. Um, if you guys didn't know that, um, or if you think like if you have a cough or a sore throat, it's actually good to have a uh, little warm water, add salt to it and stir it and then just goggle and spit it out it actually helps you with that bacteria um, on your throat just the fyi the paraffin wax has been shown to create a condition like arthritis fibromyalgia, among others that's so when you get a mani or pedicure when you get a a pedicure they massage your leg they do the scrub they do the lotion and they also do a paraffin wax because they want you to keep the um your legs hydrated which is actually very important especially during summertime a wax treatment a wax treatment acts type of thermo therapy or a heat therapy that helps treat these conditions by increasing blood flow relaxing muscles and reducing stiffness and joints paraffin wax can also minimize muscle spasms and inflammation as well as treat sprains. So it's very important now see actually also have your own personal paraffin wax, your own personal use. So 
I would use something different if you want to use it for um, for clients. For example, if you work at a spa or a salon, um, depending on their um, their treatments, you might have peripheral wax, you might not. But if you want to go relax somewhere or get a nice treatment to get a exfoliating um, body for head to toe, they do that. But the paraffin wax, you only get it when you do a petty and, and manicure. So I want to say thank you so much. And all the tips that I gave you, I've done my research and also I've learned through the years that I've done aesthetics and makeup. And also, you know, by exfoliating your face, your makeup actually will look more flawless. Uh, those are my tips for today. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Or if you have any concerns, or if you maybe want me to do a live uh, video, I'd love to do that. Um, maybe if you want to, maybe if you want me to do a different topic and talk about it, um, leave that comment as well. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. Have a beautiful and lovely day. Stay tuned for my next video and also follow me on Instagram at Maria Isorda. Thank you and have a beautiful and lovely day. So what I'm going to do right now, if you noticed, um, my hands are extremely dry. I do not recommend for you to do a scrub or a paraffin if you have um, really extremely dry skin and cracky like this, mine are already cracking because I wash my hands so many times during the day because of my son and because I'm always cleaning his hands, cleaning everywhere. It's just, I'm always cleaning. So as you can tell, my hands look extremely old and dry. So what I'm gonna use is between the um, Rodan and Fuel like Microdermabrasion Paste and the Body Bed Bath, I'm sorry, Bath and Body Works, the Eucalyptus Pyramid Sugar Scrub, oh, Spearmint, excuse me. Um, I'm actually going to use this one. It's less harsh on my skin, especially my hands. I don't mind using the other ones in my back or my legs, but this one on my hands is it's better. So you only want to use a little bit. A little bit goes a long ways and I recommend for you to use a q-tip because you don't want to contaminate the jar so a little bit goes a long ways as you can tell it's only like a pea size maybe a little larger than that and you really want to scrub between your fingers, your nails, your cuticles, your palms. And you start noticing that the product is actually melting out of your skin because the temperature of your body will be melting the salt and your sugar, which is kind of nice. And you'll know when you're ready to actually rinse off. You can tell, see how my skin's super dry. And then what you want to do is um, you want to rinse off. Rinse it really good. And you start noticing your skin feeling really nice. So I'm going to dab my skin with a hand towel. So you want to dab, you don't want to rub it off the water. So if you notice, my skin doesn't look dry at all, which is kind of nice. And the next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to use Nivea, uh, essentially in enriched 48 hours um, deep moisture, has double the almond oil. You guys can see that this is for really, really dry skin. So I'm going to do one pump on my hand. So you can see that. Really rub the product in there, massage it in there really well. And 
between your fingers, your palm of your hands, your cuticles, your nails, fingertips. Okay, you actually want to do this because you're going to use the paraffin wax right after. So I'm going to take mine out. You guys could see. This is my own personal paraffin wax from Conair. I've had this for a long time and I really, really enjoy it. And you really want to be careful because this can sometimes be hot. So you don't want to burn yourself. So you actually want to dip it in there super fast or slowly. Be especially if your skin's really dry like mine. If you can see this are really cracked, it's gonna burn my skin or it's gonna hurt me. So you wanna do that. You see how dry is getting fast with the paraffin wax? Kinda looks like I'm wearing a glove. Which is kinda nice. I'm gonna do the other hand as well. There you go, see that? So you could see the paraffin wax on my hands. You could use this on your elbows, on your knees. Um, you can also use it on your feet. So again, this could only be a personal use only. What I mean by that is if like, if you have your own spa, of course, you would have to put this in a little, in a small little bag like the nail technicians do and um, you'll be able to get the product, put it in there, and then use it on a client. So you want it to dry. So you wanna wait about, I don't know, one to three minutes maybe. If you notice, mine's already getting um, lifted, meaning it's, it's drying on my skin already. So I'm gonna take the paraffin wax out of here. So let's take that out. Next thing that I'm going to pull out is a, a, um, a bag, and the reason why is because you want to peel the whole product and put it in here. You don't want this to get in your drain because it, it has happened to me. It's gone on there and got clogged, so don't do that. So put it in a paper or plastic bag. So it literally peels right off, and why is because I put lotion before I use my paraffin wax. The same thing that the nail technicians do um, before they do the paraffin wax um, at your salon. So, it literally comes off really fast. So it took about, what, a minute maybe if that? Make sure you get it between your nails. Sometimes it'll get stuck there. On the other hand, It's literally coming off off my skin because of the lotion I used. Any lotion will do before you use your paraffin wax. I'm gonna have a little bit on my wrist. Take the excess out. Make sure you don't have nothing else in your fingers. I have a little bit of my nails. And I think I am done. And as you can see now, my hands do not look wrinkly or dry at all whatsoever. So that is the benefit of using a paraffin wax plus lotion with the sugar and sea salt scrub or any scrub you would want for your body and face. So, that's a, this is my after look of doing all that. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful and lovely day.